Well, it's always nice to go on a nice long winning streak, but it's just something with the flames. They just can't seem to make it beyond 10. Hi there, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll take a look back on the 10 game winning streaks that the Atlanta Flames, yes, the Atlanta Flames, and the Calgary Flames have done in their franchise history. And you can watch throughout to find out which winning streak do you think was more impressive. The one that uh, happened in Atlanta or the couple that happened in Calgary. But before I get into the video to add, I always like to say if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I also have my other social media links down in the description below. But yeah, it's, it was the third time recently that the Flames franchise had went on a 10 game winning streak, but they weren't able to make it 11 overall. But surprisingly, it's when these winning streaks happen, because it definitely did not happen during the 1980s or even the 1990s during the first half that things were looking a little better. But the first time that the Flames won 10 straight games actually was when they were still the Atlanta Flames. This was going back to the 1978-79 season. This would have been their second last season that the Flames were in Atlanta. Then also you can take a look at how the teams ultimately did in terms of standings and playoffs as the previous couple times that the Calgary Flames and the Atlanta Flames have won 10 straight games. They at least made it to the playoffs, so I guess that means good things for this season, but it's how things ended. So if you look at the 1978-79 Atlanta Flames, they actually started, this happened early in the season. And actually, this might be a franchise record for longest unbeaten streak to start off a season because the first two games were ties. And back in this day, I think it was the 1985-86 season. Don't quote me on it, but when the game ended in a tie before then, it ended in a tie. Like, there was no five-minute overtime period. But the season started off on October 11th, 1978. The Atlanta Flames were in Chicago, and they had a 4-4 tie. And then the next game, this was... The, on October 13, 1978, the Atlanta Flames were hosting the Washington Capitals, and it started off as a 3-3 tie. So the 1978-79 Atlanta Flames season started off with two ties. However, then the winning streak began. So on October 14, 1978, the Atlanta Flames were in Washington, and they won 6-3. And then the next game, the... The Atlanta Flames were at home on October 17, 1978. They defeated the Colorado Rockies 8-2, which I'm going to say so far Washington and Colorado at this time wasn't a big, you know, accomplishment to say we beat them badly. However, the next game, this was on October 20th, 1978, the Atlanta Flames beat the Montreal Canadiens at home with a 7-5 score. And then on October 22nd, 1978, the Atlanta Flames were on the road. They defeated the Philadelphia Flyers with a 5-2 score. And then they made it five in a row on October 24th, 1978, where the Atlanta Flames were back at home. They defeated the Los Angeles Kings 7-2. And then on October 27th, 1978, to make it six in a row, they defeated the New York Islanders at home with a... 8-5 victory, and then they made it 7 in a row on October 28, 1978, as the Atlanta Flames were on the road in Pittsburgh, as they defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-2, and then they made it 8 in a row on October 31, 1978, as the Atlanta Flames defeated the St. Louis Blues in St. Louis 5-2, and then they were back at home for the next two games, where on November 1, 1978, the Atlanta Flames shout out the Philadelphia Flyers 3 to nothing to make it a 9-game winning streak. And then they made it 10 on November 3rd, 
1978, where they shut out the Pittsburgh Penguins, two to nothing. So they shut out Pennsylvania, those two home games, and then the losing streak ended. This was Game 13 of the 1978-79 season for the Atlanta Flames, where they lost two to four on November 4, 1978. They lost four to two against the Montreal Canadiens in Montreal. So the Atlanta Flames. They tied two games, the first two games in the 1978-79 season, then they won 10 in a row. So I'm going to say that was a very, very impressive again. The first 10 win, winning streak for the Calgary Flames, or the Atlanta Flames, I should say, before they moved to Calgary. This was their second last season. Ultimately, it was a tough Patrick division, and how the playoffs worked at this time. This was before the expansion of the World Hockey Association where former teams gathered. I looked up the playoffs because it mentioned the a lot of plays they finished last in the Pacific Division. They ultimately had a 41, 31 and 8 record, but that was good for 90 points. That actually made them the playoffs because they did the reseeding through the league stands at that time. The a lot of flames did lose a best of three, two games nothing against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the first time the Flames franchise posted a 10-game winning streak. It resulted in them making the playoffs, but not getting out of the first round, or even winning a game. That's definitely something to keep in mind. But other tidbits from the 1978-79 season, well, general manager was Cliff Fletcher. It was under head coach Fred Creighton, and the captain of the team was Tom Lysak. And then the this was back when the Atlanta Flames played the old Omni Coliseum. Team leaders that season was Guy Chouinard. He had 50 goals for the Flames. And then Bob McMillan had 71 assists. And he also was the lead point getter with 108. Willie Plett had 213 penalty minutes. And then the winning goaltender, goaltender the most winning was Dan Bouchard, who only played with the Atlanta Flames and didn't play in Calgary. Because all these names eventually moved to Calgary, although Frey Creighton wasn't the coach when the Flames moved to Calgary. But Dan Bouchard had 32 wins, and then Reggie Lindman was leading goals against the Arrows at 332. So that was the first winning streak that the Flames had of 10 games when they were the Atlanta Flames. So I have no feelings on that winning streak because that was before my time. So the second time that the Flames Went on a 10 game winning streak the first time as the Calgary Flames. This did not happen until the 2016 17 season. So, fairly recently, with the, uh, you know, some members of the core that's on the Calgary Flames this season. But this one was a very interesting season for the Calgary Flames as they had an up and down season. I would say this was the first season under one or two seasons that the Calgary Flames. We're under with Glenn Goldson, but I felt that the turning point of the season, of uh, this season, at first was in December, and then second with this 10 game winning streak. However, I'm going to say the seeds were planted with the 10 game winning streak, because that was that season where Calgary had a bad effort in Montreal, and Glenn Goldson said the team was pathetic. And that was leading up to the uh, All Star break, and then the uh, there was a story that apparently this is when in Montreal and Ottawa you could travel by via rail that the team was trying to figure things out and they figured things out over beers but it wasn't after when Glenn Goldson said pathetic in the All-Star break when the Calgary Flames went on a 10 game winning streak but they showed some signs of promise because before leading to the 10 game winning streak where they lost 5-1 in Montreal on January 24th in 2017. They did win the next game, January 26th, in Ottawa with a 3-2 overtime victory. Then it was the All-Star break, and then the Calgary Flames won two games with a 5-1 victory over Minnesota February 1st, and a 4-3 overtime win at the New Jersey Devils on February 3rd, as Calgary was home against Minnesota on the road against New Jersey, and then they lost 4-3 to New York Rangers February 5th. And then they beat the shootout in a shootout against the Pittsburgh Penguins on February 6th, 7th in Pittsburgh. And then they went home to lose to the Arizona Coyotes 
5 to nothing on February 13th, and then February 15th, Calgary beat Philadelphia 3 to 1. And then the last game before starting the 10 game winning streak, this was on February 18th, the Calgary Flames lost 2 to 1 to Vancouver in overtime. But I felt that those bunch of games after the Montreal game, and apparently the beers on the train, that's where things are turned around. But the 10 game winning streak in the 2016 17 season started on February 21st. This was game 60. So a little later in the season, the Calgary Flames were on the road in Nashville. They beat Nashville 6 to 5 in overtime. And then game 61 on February 23rd, the Calgary Flames continued their road trip. They took on the dreaded Tampa Bay Lightning and they beat them 3 to 2. Always great to beat Tampa Bay, right? So that was win number two. Well, the third winning game on the winning streak, this was game 6-2 on February 14th. The Calgary Flames defeat the Florida Panthers. 4-2, and then they sweep the uh, road trip after they lost to Vancouver. Game 6-3 on February 26th. The Calgary Flames defeat the Carolina Hurricanes 3-1. And then game 64 on February 28th to make it uh, five in a row. The Calgary Flames went back home to take on the Los Angeles Kings. They won that 2-1, to one, but in overtime. And then gained the sixth game winning streak. Started on March the 3rd. As the Calgary Flames were still home, they were hosting the Detroit Red Wings. They defeated the Detroit Red Wings 3-2, but in overtime. Game 6-6 to make it 7 in a row. The Calgary Flames were home against the New York Islanders. They won that one 5-2. And then Game 6-7, March 9th, the Calgary Flames shut out the Montreal Canadiens 5 to nothing to make it 8 in a row. And then they made it 9 in a row on March 11th as the Calgary Flames were on the road. They shut out the Winnipeg Jets 3 to nothing. And then the 10th game to tie the franchise record from the 1978-79 Atlanta Flames on March the 13th. The Calgary Flames defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins 4 to 3 but in a shootout. So they survived overtime with, you know, Malkin and Crosby. And then the losing streak ended on Game 70 on March 15th when the Calgary Flames lost 5-2 to two to the Boston Bruins. So I'm going to say with this winning streak, there were three games that were won in overtime, one in a shootout, but I'm going to say winning Nashville, Florida, Tampa Bay, and Car or Nashville, Tampa Bay, Florida, Carolina. All, well, most in regulation, was fairly impressive, but that was the 2016-17 10 game winning streak, and that was done under Glenn Galton. If it wasn't for a strong December in that 10 game winning streak, the Calgary Flames, I don't think, would have not made the playoffs that year. As ultimately, the Calgary Flames did make the playoffs that season, as they were 45 33 and 4. That put him 7th in the Western Conference, fourth in the Pacific Division, and then how that worked out. The Calgary Flames drew the Atlanta, the Anaheim Ducks in the first round, and the Anaheim Ducks swept the Calgary Flames four straight. So keep that in mind. The Calgary Flames did not win the game in the playoffs. With a 10-game winning streak in 19, or in 2016-17, and the Atlanta Flames. Or the Atlanta Flames never got out of the first round. They did not win a game in the 1978 79. They hope they're not trying to scare what this team has done. But at the time, you know, it was Brad Trillivan that was the general manager of the Calgary Flames, who still is this time. Glenn Galston was the head coach at the time, his first season as the Flames coach. Where Jared Dow was the captain. Then the Troy Brower and Sean Monaghan were the assistant captains. Obviously, the Flames played at the cell, though. And then the leading goal, the uh, Team leaders for this team, Sean Monaghan had 27 goals, Johnny Goodrow had 43 assists and 61 points, Matthew Kachuk only had 105 penalty minutes. Tells you the game was different then. Mark Giordano was leading plus minus with uh, 22, and then Brian Elliott had 26 wins, and then had the goals against there with John Gillies, but he had very limited playing time with an exact goals against there of one. So, which winning streak would you say? Is more impressive was it the Atlanta Flames one or the Calgary Flames one from 1617? Or what about the 2021 
22 Calgary Flames winning streak that they recently went on. As that winning streak started after all the games, you know, got postponed and rescheduled, the Calgary had a very, very home heavy schedule in February that led to their 10 game winning streak. But the this one kind of happened in the middle of the season. So the first game before Calgary started the winning streak, they lost badly to the St. Louis Blues on January 27th, 2022, where they lost 5-1 to one in St. Louis. And then the 10-game winning streak began. Game 40, this was on January 29th, 2022. The Calgary Flames went back home. They were taken on the Vancouver Canucks. They won one nothing. In overtime in that one, that one, I remember that game for Calgary all played Vancouver with Thatcher Demko stood his head. So that was the first game the Calgary Flames won for another 10-game winning streak. And then on February 1st, the Calgary Flames won 4-3 in Dallas. And that game, Calgary had to come back from being down 3-1 to one late in the third period to win that one. So they acquired an overtime win and a comeback win to make it two. Game 42, this happened the next night on February 2nd. The Calgary Flames defeated the Arizona Coyotes 4-2 in Arizona. And then they had a bunch of home games, seven-game homestand, where they were playing catch-up from all the postponed games in December. Well, on December 9th, the Calgary Flames shut out the Vegas Golden Knights 6-0 to make it three in a row. And then February 10th, the Calgary Flames dominated against, or actually this game, the Flames won 5-2 against the Toronto Maple Leafs, but I'm going to say Toronto Maple Leafs had a little edge in play, but that made it 4 in a row at that point. And then 5 in a row happened, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5 in a row. 6 in a row happened actually on February 12th when the Calgary Flames won 5-2 in the New York Islanders, but they have been on a downswing this season. 7 in a row, game 46, February 15th, the Calgary Flames defeated the Columbus Blue Jackets, 6-2, and then game 47, February 16th, Calgary defeated a division over opponent in the Anaheim Ducks to make it 6-2, as that was 8 in a row. Anaheim has slowly been fading away in the playoff race. Calgary made it 9 in a row on February 19th, as they beat the Seattle Kraken 2-1, and then Calgary made it 10 in a row on February 21st, as they defeated the Winnipeg Jets. 3-1, the other thing that made it interesting, unique, both with this uh, homestand, is that apparently that's the first time in NHL history a team swept the homestand of seven or more games. However, the winning streak definitely ended abruptly, as on game 50, the Calgary Flames were on the road as they were taking on the Vancouver Canucks. And the Vancouver Canucks made sure we did not make it 11, as they defeated Calgary 7-1. And then the other thing I heard, and that was also the first time in NHL history that a team ended a 10-game winning streak by scoring six or more goals. So, interesting tidbits in that one. So, that is the third time that the Calgary Flames won a 10-game winning streak or a Flames franchise. As you got the 1978-79 Atlanta Flames. They won 10 in a row early in the season. And then you got the Calgary Flames in 2016-17. They won 10 in a row about the you know third way of the season, two thirds away in the season, and I think they needed that just to get into the playoffs. Well, you had this one with this season right now being that it happened in the middle of the season, especially when the Calgary Flames were making a at home. So, of course, now we don't know yet what's going to happen into the playoffs because we are still in the season going, but hopefully at least we'll win a game in the playoffs. Let's just say that, because the Atlanta Flames didn't win in the playoffs the year they won 10 in a row, and neither did the Calgary Flames. As of this recording, they are 31-14-6, first in the Pacific Division, and obviously, Dratcher Levin is the general manager. Daryl Sutter now is the head coach of the Calgary Flames. And then there was no captain, but we have Sean Monahan Mike Back and Chris Tanner Matthew Kachuk being the alternate captains. Playing at Scotia Bank Saddle, and as of this post, leading team leaders right now is Andrew Mangiapane with 27 goals, Johnny Goodrow 45 assists and 65 points, Milan Ducic leading the team in 57 penalty minutes, 
Johnny Deidre plus 40, and then Jacob Markstrom with 24 wins and a 213 goals against there. So, yeah, it's just to look back on the three winning streaks that the Flames franchise have had with the Atlanta Flames and the Calgary Flames. I'm going to say, which one would you say is more impressive? I probably would say the one that I would say is the most impressive is the one that they just recently did. Just with the number of home games, how many goals they scored in some games. Then I'm going to say the second one would be the Atlanta Flames. Looking at when it was in the season and some of the teams they built, beat. And then the third one would have to be the 16-17 season. Just because three of those games were in overtime and why is a shootout, while the one that they were recently on was an overtime victory. There was a comeback victory, but I'm going to say the eight games afterwards, they were fairly, fairly convincing, but there was one that Jacob Markstrom had to be the better goaltender, so that's the thing of winning streaks. There has to be some things that go right for a longer period of time, but it definitely does make or break your season. The other interesting thing with the Calgary Flames is that I know the longest losing streak is 11 games. And actually, the year when the Calgary Flames lost 11 straight games, that happened in 1985-86 season. And what happened to the Flames that season? They actually went to the Stanley Cup Finals that year for the first time and were on the wrong end of it against the Montreal Canadiens. And I understand that Bob Johnson, I think that's motivation, he put on the board there it said, good teams don't lose this many games in a row, or more than this many games in a row. I think it sure got awkward when it got to 11. And I think with the you know more parity in the NHL now, I think it'd be a it might be something that an NHL game was a challenge is put 11 game losing streak in a team and then still make the playoffs because I don't think any team right now if they lost 11 in a row in the NHL today, there's no way I don't think they would make the playoffs now if they lost 11 in a row. Never mind going to the Stanley Cup Finals, but that's just all I have to looking back on the winning streaks with the Atlanta Flames and then the Calgary Flames. It's just incredible that it happened in Atlanta and then he had almost 40 years in between before he had two fairly recently with kind of the same management and the same core, I should say, of the team. Like there was no winning streak this long in the 80s. But I guess also when he had a lot of divisional game against the Edmonton Oilers, there were probably a lot of that in the factor as well. So I'm going to ask, what winning streak was the most impressive, would you say, of 10 games for the Atlanta Flames or the Calgary Flames? So anyways, I'd like to say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, home of the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stampeders. I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel where I recap games and stories, but I also do a variety of non-sports comedy like personal vlogs, tap to comedy, and I also do share experience on the road or a sporting event, and I do some vlogging on the go when I've had time. So if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch to follow along with this Calgary Sports fans journey, you know what you do, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I also have my other social links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me. And of course, there's my second channel in Brett Hornby Shorts where I put my short form content exclusively on there. So I appreciate it, like, subscribe both here on my main channel as well as my second channel. So I was going to say, go Flames, go. Thanks for watching and uh See you in the next video. I'm looking forward to the next uh, 10 game winning streak. But let's make it 11 next time, okay? That's all I'm going to say. And I'll just quote Daryl Sutter. Let's do it in the playoffs. That would be even more, more impressive. But uh, let's just enjoy them as they all come. So thank you.